In the heart of Italy, under the sky of a world in full renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci became the symbol of an unparalleled era. But who was Leonardo really? A painter, a scientist, an inventor, or maybe all of this together? In 1452, from the small town of Vinci, a figure emerged destined to embody the pinnacle of the Italian Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci. His existence was a mosaic of art, science and technology, woven with a curiosity that never knew limits. Leonardo's youth was marked by an apprenticeship in Florence, under the guidance of Andrea del Verrocchio. Here, Leonardo not only perfected his painting skill, but also immersed himself in scientific disciplines, laying the foundation for his future explorations into the vast realm of inventiveness. In 1482, Leonardo moved to Milan, a period that marked the beginning of an extraordinary fusion between his artistic visions and engineering innovations. Leonardo da Vinci embodied the Renaissance ideal of the universal man, excelling in a wide range of fields. His work ranged from art to mechanics, from hydraulics to human anatomy, exploring every aspect of the natural and human world with a depth and precision that few have ever equaled. Every discipline he touched was transformed, testifying to a genius who saw beyond the conventions of his time, always seeking to understand the underlying principles that govern the universe. Already in the first years of his apprenticeship in Andrea del Verrocchio's studio in Florence, Leonardo distinguished himself for his exceptional talent. It was here that he began to experiment with techniques and materials, laying the foundations for what would become his signature style. The first example of this experimentation can be seen in the Baptism of Christ, where the young Leonardo painted an angel so vivid and detailed that according to the stories, it left Verrocchio feeling incapable of adding anything else to the canvas. However, it was during his stay in Milan in the service of Ludovico il Moro that Leonardo created some of his most significant works, such as The Last Supper. This fresco, which decorates the refectory of the convent of Santa Maria delle Grazie, is a masterpiece of composition and visual narration. Leonardo broke with tradition, arranging the characters to create an intense psychological dynamic, making the tension of the moment palpable. His ability to represent human emotions, combined with an innovative use of perspective and chiaroscuro, made The Last Supper a timeless work. The Mona Lisa, or Mona Lisa, remains Leonardo's most famous work and one of the most iconic portraits in the world. Begun around 1500, this revolutionary canvas represents the pinnacle of Leonardo's ability to capture the essence of the subject with unprecedented psychological reality. Sfumato, a technique that Leonardo perfected to the point of making it almost magical, allows the contours to delicately dissolve, creating an effect of infinite depth and mystery around Mona Lisa's famous smile. Sfumato, a technique that Leonardo perfected to the point of making it almost magical, allows the contours to delicately dissolve, creating an effect of infinite depth and mystery around Mona Lisa's famous smile. In addition to his portraits, Leonardo explored religious themes with a unique sensitivity and depth, as demonstrated in The Virgin of the Rocks. This work, which exists in two versions, illustrates his mastery of manipulating light to create atmospheres full of spiritual meaning, placing the figures in a rocky landscape that seems to exude an intrinsic sacredness. Leonardo was not only a painter of figures and landscapes, he was also a master of drawing, as evidenced by his numerous studies of anatomy, botany and design. Leonardo da Vinci's interest in human anatomy was not just a mere scientific curiosity, but a profound passion that drove him to explore the human body with a detail and precision unprecedented for his time. Leonardo began his anatomical studies by drawing bodies that he could personally observe and dissect. He is said to have performed at least 30 dissections of human bodies during his lifetime, an uncommon practice for an artist of his time, but one that reflects his interdisciplinary approach to knowledge. Through these dissections, Leonardo explored every aspect of human physiology, from the muscular and skeletal systems to the structure of internal organs, from the flow of blood through the heart and blood vessels to the complex mechanics of joints and muscles. One of Leonardo's most significant contributions to anatomy was his discovery of the heart's functioning as a valve. Contrary to the medical beliefs of the time, which saw the heart simply as a blood-warming organ. 
Leonardo realized and demonstrated through detailed drawings that the heart actually works like a pump. He illustrated how heart valves allow blood to flow in only one direction, a discovery that anticipated the modern understanding of cardiology by centuries. His studies on the skeletal and muscular system were equally revolutionary. Leonardo was the first to represent the spinal column with its correct curvature, dispelling the notion that it was rigid and immobile. His drawings of the muscular system showed how muscles overlapped and interacted with each other, offering a dynamic vision of the body in motion that was highly influential to later artists and physicians. His most notable contribution to anatomy was the way he linked physical structure to mental and sensory activity. Leonardo studied the human brain with great interest, trying to locate the locations of the soul and the senses. Although some of his theories were incorrect or speculative, his drawings of the brain, nervous system and sensory organs were incredibly advanced for the time. The Vitruvian Man is one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous and iconic drawings, created around 1490. This work represents a naked male figure in two overlapping positions with his arms and legs extended in two distinct concentric circles. The drawing is accompanied by detailed notes on human anatomy. Based on the ideal proportions of the human body, as described by the Roman architect Vitruvius in his treatise De Architectura. Vitruvius argued that the structure of the human body was in perfect harmony with universal geometric proportions, and Leonardo explored this idea through his drawing. His notebooks, filled with sketches ranging from delicate studies of plants to complex engineering mechanisms, reveal an artist who saw drawing as a tool for exploring and understanding the world. His insatiable curiosity never knew boundaries, ranging from art to mechanics, from aeronautics to the challenges of hydraulics. Among his many passions, water occupied a prominent place, a symbol of life, but also a source of incessant wonder for its physical properties and potential applications. In 15th century Milan, Leonardo immersed himself in the study of hydraulic systems, tackling engineering problems that plagued the city and its surroundings. Lombardy, with its rivers and canals, became an open-air laboratory for Leonardo. Here, he devised innovative solutions for water control, from river basin regulation to marshland reclamation, demonstrating an exceptionally advanced understanding of hydraulic dynamics. His most ambitious project was the system of locks for the navigable canal connecting Milan to Lake Como, designed to improve the transport of goods and people, thus stimulating trade and the local economy. Leonardo also invented a hydraulic keystone, a mechanism that allowed the flow of water in the canals to be regulated, an absolute novelty for the time. In addition to these practical innovations, Leonardo was fascinated by the movement and physical properties of water, as demonstrated by his studies of vortices. Through meticulous observations, he developed a theory of water currents and their behavior, anticipating by centuries what we now know as fluid dynamics. Leonardo's hydraulic inventions, however, were not limited to large-scale projects. He also designed sophisticated devices for everyday use, such as water pumps and irrigation systems for agriculture, demonstrating his ability to transfer hydraulic principles to practical problems of different nature and scale. The best-known mechanical invention is Leonardo's so-called tank, an armored war machine moved by the muscular strength of men inside it, equipped with cannons around its entire circumference. Although it was never built during his lifetime, the conception of this vehicle reveals Leonardo's innovative approach to warfare and defense, combining engineering cunning with a deep analysis of wartime needs. Equally significant was his passion for flying, which led him to design several flying machines, the most characteristic being the ornithopter, a device that imitated the flapping of a bird's wings. His in-depth studies of bird anatomy and flight mechanics reflect an attempt to transpose natural principles into the design of flying machines. Although these aircraft could never have flown with the technology of his time, the aerodynamic concepts explored by Leonardo laid the foundation for the future development of aviation. Another area of interest was the design of complex mechanisms, such as gears and transmission systems, which Leonardo studied with the aim of understanding their fundamental laws and applying them in the creation of watches and automated devices. These studies not only demonstrate its ability to observe and analyze, but also its incredible ability to predict future technological evolution. 
Leonardo's research in the mechanical field also extended to the civil field, as demonstrated by the project of a self-supporting bridge known as the Leonardo's Bridge, which could be quickly assembled and dismantled, useful for military operations, but also as a model of civil engineering for the construction of permanent bridges. In conclusion, Leonardo da Vinci's mechanical works testify to an exceptional intelligence, capable of navigating through different disciplines with the same mastery and curiosity. His inventions, visionary but rooted in solid scientific principles, continue to be the object of study and admiration, symbols of Leonardo's unshakable faith in the power of human innovation and technological progress. Through his artistic masterpieces, revolutionary mechanical inventions, pioneering hydraulic studies, and detailed anatomical explorations, Leonardo teaches that knowledge is infinite and that art and science are eternally intertwined. If you are fascinated by figures like Leonardo da Vinci, subscribe to our channel and join us on this journey to discover the history and wonders of the scientific world. See you soon.